so uh, today what we're going to be talking about is uh, first we're going to give an overview of Pure One. So we're not we're not going to be talking about specific products or features, but we're going to be talking about more of the idea of what we're doing, why we're doing it, what, what goals we're trying to achieve. And then we're going to get into a, a guided demo. So the we always want to make sure that uh, I, I think just going through the product itself is is the best way to get a feel for the product. Going through slides is it's nice. It gets it gets an overview, but the the product itself is always is always the way we want to get into it. Now on the topics, uh, what we want to talk about specifically are things like ransomware. It's a it's a hot topic these days, and we're doing a lot on the Pure One side and the product side in order to make sure that customer our customers are prepared for any sort of uh, issues arising from a, a, something like a ransomware attack, or being prepared and and being able to mitigate that as much as possible. Um, as I'm sure you all know, we do have uh, we have acquired Portworks uh, fairly recently, and we're working on integrating Portworks into Pure One as well, so that all of our customers, whether they're Portworks customers or FlashRay or FlashBlade or CBS, can all get into Pure One and see a unified view. Uh, we have our self-service catalog, which focuses on the Pure as a service, um, and all of this gets rounded together with anomaly detection and the workload planner. So those, uh, those we're going to round out the presentation with those topics. So uh, Pure One, I, the the goal of uh, Pure One back when we first, uh, as you mentioned in 2015, presented uh, Pure One for the first time. Uh, management was one of those tasks with the legacy infrastructure that that made managing storage difficult that made uh, the the existing status quo uh, that you had to have multiple storage admins for single arrays you had to manage lines you had to do a whole lot and that creates slowdown and risk right if you if you mismanage your storage then that's that's just the the way you get into bad situations like outages or misrepresented lines or, or misconfigured lines or anything like that so management is this big part of what we as Pure do. I believe that we can call it our core competency and Pure One is a, is a big part of that. So as we go into the future, what we wanna do is we wanna provide a platform uh, for beyond just what we've done so far, which is simplify the management. We wanna get into a, a, the next evolution of management, which is, I'm sure everybody's aware of this, uh, the favorite buzzword of, of today, which is AI ops. Uh, and for us, it's broken up into three sections. First is management and observation. This kind of goes into more of the traditional monitoring and management part of it, um, making sure that the information that you have is available to you uh, and, and you could go in and pull the information out when you need it. Uh, having alerting is an incredibly important part of this and uh, th this is a big part of our future strategy. And then it's got to be kind of a, a one-stop shop. And as we talked a little bit earlier, we're working on making sure that we have all our products represented in the Pure One portfolio for our customers to be able to view in, in a single place. Planning and upgrades uh, is, is one of the biggest parts of a storage admin's job where there's a lot of uncertainty, especially in the planning. It's extremely difficult to plan for the future. You're not always sure how workloads are going to grow. There are uh, always surprises as, as you're doing your planning. Um, and being able to do non-disruptive upgrades, of course, helps, right? That's that's one of the, the bread and butter of pure storage is that you can, you can upgrade your arrays anytime, any place, uh, even in the middle of a workday. Uh, but making sure that you don't need to do any last minute upgrades in order to, to uh, manage the, the increase in workload that you just happen to see, uh, that would be that would be an incredibly important part. And as we develop Pure into more of a monitoring tool, we want to build in the operations part of it as well. So purchasing and scaling, especially on the Pure as a service side, uh, you'll see in a little bit that's going to be a significant part of where we're going on uh, on this journey. So uh, those three sections are kind of broken up into three larger goals. So what we want to do with Pure One is we want to 
be able to optimize the storage environment, recommend solutions based on those optimizations, and empower whoever's using Pure One uh, to, to make the proper decisions. Now, in the past, it's been storage admins, but as we grow, as we develop Pier One, as we get into a lot more of these as a service use cases, we are building in different personas. So procurement and potentially other roles coming into Pier One, being able to, to see, manage, and get the information they need uh, to, to properly manage their environment. So on the optimized side, the first thing that we have is uh, a fairly new feature called aggregated fleet and group metrics. This is nice to have because you can kind of take a, a group of arrays and go into a single uh, view of that group of arrays. Ultimately, what we're going to um, want to get done is uh, this overview that allows you to customize the groups that you can create and manage and monitor as, as a group. So this gives customers the ability to, to for example, if, if there's a specific department that you want to monitor the capacity for, uh, say you have a group of arrays that belong to the finance department, you'll be able to go in and see that as an aggregate. Um, the other thing that we want to do is we want to also resolve issues before the impact users. So as you're grouping, as you're monitoring uh, a lot of the tools that you have, uh, we have background tasks running in order to create fingerprints, to identify issues, and give you the information ahead of time to be able to fix these, uh, fix these problems. So a lot of the time, as, as I'm sure you're all aware, Pure Storage will reach out and actually um, open a case on behalf of you in order to make sure that your environment is running properly. Um, with VM Analytics, it, it expands beyond just the storage portion into the VMware portion. And then ultimately what we're gonna have as, as we're integrated with Portworks is getting a view of that container landscape. I have a question. Yeah, um, sure. You said that you can group storage arrays, um, for example, by, by department or location. Um, can you block uh, certain Pure One users from seeing uh, arrays that they're not supposed to see? Yes, actually we can. So um, based on the same way we, uh, you, you can create groups, uh, you can tag certain arrays with a specific tag, uh, whether there's some predefined tags that we have uh, based on the information that we have about the array, you could also create custom tags. Then you could assign those tags to a view, assign those views to a user, and then those users will only be able to, to see and manage uh, information about the arrays that they have in their view. And so it includes cases, it includes alerts and, and all that. Cool. Thanks. Hey, Stan, do you have any information or metrics on, you know, the number of uh, issues that are being resolved before they become apparent or, you know, saved man hours of uh, issue resolution time or anything like that that Pure One is providing? Yeah, it's a great question. Um, I, I don't have the exact numbers. I, I do know that there have been hundreds, um, potentially, uh, you know, multiple hundreds of SEV ones that have been prevented over time. Uh, this is this is something that is, um, you know, on, on some accounts, you might think, oh, okay, that doesn't sound like a whole lot. But then on the other hand, <laughs> it's also because we build our systems to be as resilient as possible. So having um, over six nines of availability allows us to rely on the systems to, to maintain that uptime. And then we use the fingerprinting as kind of a fail safe in order to prevent any potential issues that might slip through. So um, the, the numbers are relatively small, but we want to make sure that it, it continues uh, to help maintain that industry leading uptime. Stan, can you um, give me I mean, a, a short description of uh, the relationship between Meta, uh, sorry, Pure One and Pure One Meta? Because in your website, they are mentioned often both of them, and it's uh, quite confusing. Yeah, so uh, the, the, way to, the way to think about Meta is it's it's a brand for the basically anything machine learning that we do. Uh, you could think about it similar to you know Siri or something like that. It's it's a it's a name for this this AI capability. So 
uh, Pure One is the platform itself, and Pure One has a number of features that utilize Meta across the board from ransomware to workload planner to VM analytics. Uh, we use Meta on the back end in order to help power a lot of the decisions that we make, a lot of the, the work that we do, and the recommendations that we'll have. I guess that brings and, up the question, does Meta <laughs> something separately licensed, or does it come with a solution? Or Yeah, that, that's also a great question. So Pure One, um, it it's included with your subscription. So as long as you have support on Array, you have access to Pure One and um, Meta is simply part of Pure One. Uh, we don't have any licenses on the Pure One side. Everything is included. So everything that we should talk about here today is available to any customer that has a Flash Array, a Flash Blade, a Portworks subscription or uh, you know PaaS or CBS or anything like that. Okay, thanks. Before you, before you move on, I wanted to see if you had finished. Um, just on that, the last part around the matching and the the actionable thing that comes out of that. So, is is it configurable what action it takes, or does it automatically send off things to to an alert? Like it automatically alerts me and raises a ticket. Um, so it does uh, a number of things. So on. Some portions, it will go in and, and create an alert. For the majority of cases, what it's going to do is it's going to create a case and it's going to open it up, uh, send the information over to support. Uh, and support will create a case. Support will analyze and, and make sure that it's not noise because what, one, of the, um, one of the big kind of questions around something like AI is we want to make sure that it's not noisy. We want to make sure that we're not notifying customers of things that are not real issues. But um, it, is, it, it is something that support goes in and they will, um, they will manage it and uh, identify whether or not it's a real issue. And then it'll, they'll, they'll reach out to the customer if, if uh, it does end up being an issue. Okay. So in that, in that case, so pure one is kind of paired with support for pure as a global thing for all customers as a kind of managed service that you get just by virtue of buying some pure. That's right. Yeah, that's exactly right. 